Hey guys, Alex here, Prince of Mastodon. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you guys a uh, commentary video. It's going to be a free-for-all. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys some literature because um, a lot of times people will ask me if I know any kind of uh, good books on on whatever kind of topic. Anyways, this upcoming video will feature me using the, the Scythians. So, um, before you guys ask me, hey, do you know any good books on the Scythians? Well, actually, I do. Um, let's start with uh, my least favorite book that I have on the Scythians. This one's called Scythians, 700 to 300 BC. It's an Osprey book. Um, typically with Osprey books, it's usually the artwork that's, that, that's great to look at. Um, as for the general history inside, it's really, really general. And also, when they sent me this book, you're going to notice it's, it's upside down. So in order to read this, I would have to um, stand on my head. Now let me show you some of the better books I have on the Scythians. Here's a very old book. It's called The Scythians. Um, it's by Tamara Talbot Rice, and this is a really good book. It's um, It talks more about different cultural aspects of the Scythians, like tombs, um, art, worldly goods. Those are some of the, the subchapters. The people, there's like clothing here. Um, toward the back, they show some uh, some Scythian art. I'll do it really fast. I don't want to show too much uh, of the book, otherwise that will ruin the experience for you guys if you guys want to get this. And uh, this one is one of my prized possessions on Scythian literature. This one's called Scythian Gold, and um, it's by Ellen Reeder. And this is a really big book. Look how thick it is. It's humongous. It's like bigger than my, my upper torso. But this one has lots of pictures, and it shows lots of archaeological stuff. Like Scythian art, jewelry, pottery, you name it. It's, it's all here. Look at this. Really fast. See that? Lots of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys are big, if you guys are big time uh, Scythian fans, try those books out. Now, without further ado, I'm going to show you this commentary video where I use the Scythians, and um, it's going to be a scored resolution. And my plan in this battle is to use a uh, vulture tactics. That is to hover around for kills. I mean, my first strategy is to kill the person nearest me, and then from that point on, I plan to to basically just hunt for, for routing units from the other from the other players. But you're going to see that my strategy uh, backfires in this battle, because while I'm fighting my, my Pontic opponent, the other two guys who are fighting, they decide to stop fighting, and they decide to go after me. So you're going to see that my, my plan does backfire, and I'll let you guys watch this free-for-all. Alright, so... This is the uh, the start of the uh, the battle here. Um, this is my Scythian army here. The only uh, foot units I have are my my uh, foot archers, the archer warband, and um, that's my army. Let me show you the other armies really quick. This is the uh, the Pontic army of uh, Seedlick Lizard. It was supposed to be CWBB rolls, but uh, he kind of broke that. But it doesn't really matter. That's his army. And over here, these are the uh, the other guys I was talking about in my my um my vlog portion of this video. These guys will be fighting each other initially. At some point they decide to stop fighting though. That's uh, the army of John IEC Privates. That's his army. And then the guy he's fighting is Soldier of Rome. He commands Carthage. He's a pretty nice looking army. Nice looking upgrades on these troops here. Alright, so let's show you my portion of the fight. I'm going to start harassing my opponent here. And uh, once again, my opponent's name is Zelik Lizard. So I'm just moving my guys all around here. So yeah, my strategy going into this game was to use Scythia. That's probably not the best faction to use in a uh, free-for-all. Because um, skirmish factions, they're pretty good in a one versus one But in a free-for-all, the problem with free-for-alls is that you're fighting multiple opponents, which means you will lose a lot of ammunition. You can't fight that many people effectively without your ammunition. Anyways, I lost some troops here. That was that was a mistake. I was too busy doing live commentary, which I made a mistake with, by the way. I'm just gonna show you the the battle replay. I think the the replay is a little bit more. It'll be a little bit more effective than my my live commentary. But yeah, um, with this big cav fight here on the uh, the left flank, I'm taking out his Pontic uh, heavy cav. And also his Eastern Generals right here. All the meanwhile, I'm being shot by his archers. Your warlord 
is a cowardly old woman. While he's shooting my my horses with his archers, I've got my foot archers targeting his guys, see? But uh, meanwhile, I'm going for his general right now. It's right here. I just want to kill that general. Get rid of him. Let's see if we can find him before he dies. You guys see him yet? I don't. There he is. Enemy warlord shows his First he's going to retreat. And then he's going to drop. And then my maidens cheer. So yeah, um... That was that. Now I'm gonna to spread out because his archers were killing my dudes. Here I made a little mistake here. See that? <laughs> Oops. I was playing kind of sloppier. As I said, when I do live commentary videos, I get kind of sloppy. And I know I'm recording from the replay right now, but I originally intended this to be a live commentary. So I do have a live commentary track, but I rather show the uh, the commentary from the from the battle replay instead. So I can show you what's going on on both sides of the, the battlefield. So yeah, I took out most of his archers here. And here he's trying to dash into my, my archer warbands with his uh, Thracian mercenaries and some peasants. So once I see him out in the open like this, I wanted to basically cut them off from their phalanx, isolate them, and just pound them into submission right now. I know they're not upgraded, so I'm just going to charge into them. And they break pretty quickly. So I want to do this before his phalanx gets over there. It's moving slowly. Here I made a little mistake here. Oh no, that wasn't it. I think it's coming up. Here I'm going to accidentally charge into his uh, pikes I believe. With my archers. Yeah, th yeah, these guys. They were still chasing his peasants and then they, they run into his, his, this uh, unit of uh, bronze shields. Oops. But they're still pretty healthy so I know they're going to come back from routing. And here I made a little uh, gamble here. I thought I could get rid of these uh, bronze shields before these guys made it over there. It's kind of a bold move. But, you know, sometimes you do things in, in replays to make it look more exciting. Here it did not quite pay off, so my guys actually break here. Kind of disappointed by that. But yeah, there's still a lot of uh, numbers in my routing unit, so I know they're going to come back from routing. So, before that happens, let me show the battle over here between Carthage and Rome. This is John. John's on the left, commanding the Romans, and Soldier of Rome commands the Carthaginians here. They're engaged in this little fight. And I did not see this fight during the, uh, the live commentary, because, of course, I was fighting my battle. I was a little preoccupied. And, um... You can see in the back, I'm chasing down routing units, because once again, this is uh, scored resolution. So you win by getting the most uh, meaningful kills, or I like to call them quality kills. So I'm going for his uh, his peasants here, with this unit of headhunting maidens. These guys were routing earlier, but they came back from routing. So I sent them immediately back into action to go for these peasants. And um, he's got these foot archers out in the front here. The warlord of the enemy army is running So, uh, like a star let's show you this fight over here. Hunt him. Goats make good eating. These guys are still going at it. Carthage lost some troops here, apparently. And they're just kind of going at it. This guy should have uh, did a hammer and evil strike here instead of going all through the front. That's how he lost his cav. Yeah, um Later on, these guys will team up on me. I'm not sure what the deal was. I think maybe the Pontic player was calling for help. Oh, look, I made another mistake. I was trying to chase his, uh, his mercenaries down, and I didn't see my guys still chasing them. So they ran to his pikes. So yeah, I was making a lot of uh, sloppy mistakes in this battle. I'm pretty sure they stopped routing, though. But let's watch it. Come on, maidens. Your days are not over yet. <laughs> or maybe they are. I don't know. Whatever the case, I have reduced this guy down to his uh, fame length for the most part. He still has some archers here, 
and some peasants. But for the most part, this is a phalanx versus uh, skirmish army now. Something that I can manage a lot easier. So I'm going to start surrounding his troops. I'm using my horse archers now. I wasn't using them initially, but now I'm going to use these guys to target the backs of his uh, pike units. Oh yeah, here's my, my maiden unit here. I'm trying to go for these archers. And they kind of overshot there. And then they break. Another uh, risky move by me. But, you know, I wasn't afraid to take it. So apparently, these guys are cheering. Because they killed some maidens who were down to like five men. Or five women. Well, I guess I'm not shooting these guys yet. But I do. Alright. Now they're starting to fire. We're going to target this unit right here. Yeah, these guys drop like flies. Look, down from 120 to 112 in one volley. And I, I got these guys doing the same thing on this side. I'm just going to be showering this other unit of pikes. Whoops. Yeah, here. These guys are down to 110 now from 120. He decides to detach his unit of, of pikes, the branchial pikes, to uh, go after my horse archers. There's no way he's going to be able to catch my guys, though. So while I'm doing that, it looks like Carthage and Rome has disengaged from their fight. See this? So, from here on out, they decide to start talking in private. And it becomes pretty obvious that they start to team up on me. Not sure why, though. Because as I said, I'm using a skirmish faction. After you dispatch of one opponent, then you're pretty much out of missiles at that point. So they totally overestimated my strength. And, um... I'll talk more about that later. So anyways, I got these bronze shields right here. And I'm gonna make another risky attack on these guys. I see those are isolated. He turns around his pikes. But I see that they're still out of... They're not really in a cohesive group, so I'm gonna try to charge into them. So his guys are holding their ground a lot... A lot more effectively than I thought they would. I got his jump like Super Mario. So I do manage to route them, but at the cost of way too many horses. It's kind of ridiculous. But, uh, whatever. Skull resolution, I'm really just going for kills. Kind of going about it a sloppy way. Sloppy way, sorry. So yeah, all the meanwhile, I'm still targeting these guys. Look at this, these guys are down to 47 men now. Originally at 120. So yeah, when you shoot like infantry with like archers, yeah, do it from like the back or from the flank. If you do it from the front, it's not as effective. Alright, look at these mercenaries. They're gonna come out alongside these uh, peasants here. So I'm gonna take my foot archers. I turn off their, their missiles, but when I see those mercenaries coming, I decide to focus fire on them. So we're gonna watch these mercenaries drop. Look at that. Unfortunately, he managed to route my archers before I dropped his his mercenaries. So here go these peasants. They're gonna try to clean up here. Point blank, though. I'm just gonna blast him from this range. So yeah, I'm basically just uh, going for kills now. Well, duh. So I see these uh, rowdy mercenaries. I'm gonna send in these unit of maidens here. Just take him down. Increase my score. Yeah, free for all is pretty much a dog eat dog world. This guy ain't going anywhere. Boom! I've always wondered does this Thracian have green hair? What do you guys think? Is that green hair or is that this something else? Is that a wig, do you think? Alright, so yeah, now this guy is down to his uh, phalanx troops now. And any routed unit is going to get hunted down. So now I'm going to start to surround this guy with my archers. See the, see the movement here? And let's look over here. These guys are still just sitting pretty. Like, they haven't done anything since that first engagement they had. 
just kind of looking at each other. So let me fast forward this so I can get my archers into position here. It's a pretty long battle. I think um, it would have been 40 minutes, but I'm going to use a fast forward button, which means it'll be like 36 minutes, 38 minutes or something. Let's fast forward this. Basically, I'm just going to maneuver my guys for better shots on these dudes. Let's watch his pikes drop in we fast forward motion. This unit's now down to, what, 80 men now? See that? Pretty killer stuff. This is fast forward, by the way, guys. Alright, he says enough is enough, I think. He decides to form into this uh, noob square. And by the way, that's the name of the tactic. I'm not putting the guy down, that's just the name of the tactic. It's uh, recognized online as the Noob Square. I've used it, I've used it before. But, um... Alright. This guy's getting depleted now. See this? How I thinned out his ranks? I'm gonna start targeting this unit right here. Because they're at a healthy number. So eventually... Yeah, here I start targeting the backs of these guys now. This is regular... Um, game speed here. But yeah, basically I just um, maneuvered my guys all around this dude for better shots. See this? Each of my guys are targeting the backs of one or two of his units here. See this? These guys break. Now his new box is no more. And yeah, I'm just chasing down each unit here as they, as they route. And it's at this point these guys decide to uh, team up on me. See this? Now they're both marching at me. See this? And I, I saw what they were doing. So I was like, oh crap, these guys are coming at me, I need to kill this guy immediately. Because I didn't really um, count on these people using poor strategy. Because in a scored resolution, you want to get the most kills. So stopping the fight that you're in right now is a very bad strategy, because that means they are not getting as many kills as I am. See, I'm already about to complete my first battle. They haven't even finished their first battle yet. So I, I didn't really count on them coming at me. Alright. So these guys- oh look, I shot my own guy there, that was pretty sad. But hey, it's friendly fire, guys. Alright. So now this guy's down to four pike units, and I'm gonna charge it back to these guys with my archers. Don't want to turn your backs in a moment like this, but I will charge. Look at this, all around I'm going to charge with my archers. Yeah, their morale is pretty shot right now, these, these pikemen. So I feel safe doing this. These guys get hacked from behind here by my archers. And this thing calls a mass route. So by doing this, I was able to save some of my arrows. And this guy's pretty much dead now. Now we're gonna watch Carthage and Rome basically chase me around for no for like 10 minutes. Hold on. No. But I'm gonna use the fast forward button here. Chase. These guys were so obvious. Look, they decided to not fight each other. Uh, let me show what their armies look like. Like, these guys totally could have finished it. This guy has two, like, healthy Saker Ban cab units, highly upgraded. He has one unit of uh, infantry, highly upgraded, and these unit of slingers. This guy has just a bunch of uh, urbans. No upgrades. Carthage could have easily destroyed this guy, but maybe he felt that he couldn't take me alone, maybe? I don't know. But unfortunately, that strategy does not work in a scored resolution, because as I said, it's all about the points. It's not about killing the guy who has killed another guy. It's it's about getting points. And Carthage missed a golden opportunity here to to wipe this guy out. And vice versa. So let's let's show you this in fast forward motion. See I moved to the side just to, just to um, see what they would do. I'm like, you guys are obviously trying to team up on me here. 
and you're gonna see that their movements will follow me here. Yeah, at, at this point, this guy, John, he forms into Testudo, and then the Carthaginian player asks, hey, why are you forming into test Testudo? And this guy says, well, because if we're gonna fight this guy, I want him to uh, use up his arrows against my Testudo. Like, he forgot to put that in private. I think at this point, they decided not to even worry about sending more private messages. They're pretty much open about teaming up on me. But I wasn't too worried, because I've already killed one opponent. And they haven't killed anybody yet. So I'm just gonna keep marching this way. And this guy's facing me right now. See that? They're basically just chasing me. Poor strategy. So here's me marching around. Oh yeah, by the way, this is uh, the Syrian Flats, in case you haven't figured it out yet. That's the name of the map. Do some more fast forward motion. See, if they weren't teaming up on me, I would just try to surround each one. Because you're gonna see that by teaming up on me, I can't really maneuver. So I'm gonna have to rely on a more aggressive approach, on a more direct approach on fighting one of these guys. But only because they're teaming up. Here they're chasing me around. And here I'm like, you know what? They're gonna keep chasing me no matter what I do. So I'm just gonna fight one of these guys. So I'm gonna go for a direct confrontation here. But if I keep retreating, I'm, it's just gonna make my guys even more tired. See, my guys are very tired. I don't have a choice. And here, hammer and ammo doesn't even work. And I thought if I was dead, they would stop teaming up on me. Or, or greatly weakened. So let's show you this. Carthage chasing my horses over here. This is a soldier of Rome. Yeah, really, I didn't understand what they were trying to accomplish by teaming up. But that's the strategy they chose. Oh, here, this is funny. I, I, I routed this unit of slingers here. So I was able to draw some blood, at least. Let's watch this up close. BAM! He has slung his last rock for Carthage. So at this point, I'm like, alright guys, clearly I'm the weakest one at this point, if it wasn't already obvious. And um, they're still going to go after me. Like honestly, when I was fighting Pontus, I was already the weakest one, because I was out of arrows for the most part. Um... But yeah, they're still going to come after me, though. And not much I can do about that. I'll just, just keep fighting. Bump, 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 bada bump. Anyway, this gets kind of funny here. Let me show you in a second. I don't think it's going to indicate it in the game. But, uh... Soldier of Rome, very soon you're going to see that the that his connection craps out, and he'll be controlled by the AI, which means they can't team up on anymore. Let me fast forward to that part. It'll become obvious when it's AI controlled, because he's, he's going to go right for the Roman player. Yeah, here it is, see? At this point, this guy is now controlled by the AI. It doesn't indicate it here, but that's what happened. So instead of teaming up on me, computer goes right for the nearest opponent. And if I was really mean, or if I, if I wanted, you know, justice, I could have easily just, uh, you know, teamed up with the computer on this guy. But instead of doing that, I'm going to try to take out those uh, Carthaginian units controlled by the AI. So I, I go for this um, rear charge here with my, my maidens. But uh, you can see it's not enough to take down these... Uh, Upgraded units. My guys are tired too, so that, that doesn't help either. 
Your warriors guts have so I'm dead. They are running from the battle. But remember, this is scored resolution. It's all about the most kills. So yeah, my my strategy of vulture killing didn't quite work because these guys did not fight each other. Otherwise, I'd have just been hovering for kills. So my 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 next strategy was to rely on my my points from killing my first opponent. So what's this? Fast forward this. So look look at this. The last person standing is the uh, the computer here. Oh lag. Are you kidding me? Hold on. All right. Well, anyways, battle's almost over. Let's just fast forward this. This part's lagging for some reason. I guess Fraps strikes again here. So the computer opponent's going to chase down all these routed units here. The enemy warlord lies dead. Now he can drink with his ancestors and watch his warriors flee. All right, I'm not gonna move my mouse. I, I don't want to upset the uh, the god of lag here. So we'll just keep this fast forwarding here, and um, I'll just show you the battle results. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Computer's gonna keep chasing down these units, and um, yeah, um, really, I didn't really get that strategy of theirs to stop their fight, just to go after me. Dude, I wasn't a target of interest. Like at that point, my army was pretty much weakened. No more missiles. Like my all my foot archers had about 20% left of their missiles left, and my cav force was uh, severely depleted. So maybe I killed their friend. Maybe I have no idea. But whatever the case, they tried to team up on me, and we'll see if their strategy works. It did not. So I win the battle because I had the most quality kills there, and um. The Carthaginian player was second place, and uh, towards the end he was converted into an AI opponent just because his connection crapped out. And uh, at that point you could tell who he was because that's when the computer decided to go after the Roman player, who the human player actually had an agreement with. And uh, that's it, yeah, good game to all my opponents. 